morning, everyone. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. We're live on location this morning at Cobb's Bread on Elbow Drive, just south of Glenmore Trail. And learning how to make all kind of delectable delights. I'm receiving some coaching here from Warwick. Thanks for being here this morning. Oh, you're most certainly welcome. Thanks for coming. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Cobb's Bread because it actually started in the motherland. That's exactly right. The company in Australia is called Baker's Delight. We have 700 retail bakeries across Australia and New Zealand. Uh -huh. We, our first Cobb's Bakery, was opened in Northern Vancouver in 2003. Okay, so kind of new for Calgarians, but you it's betcha. been around in Australia for quite some time. Most certainly since 1980. It's its 29th year this year. Wow. We, yeah. So you're the expert here. Um, yeah. Tell me what we're going to be making. Well, what we're going to be making here is one of our uh, most popular sellers here. This is a uh, this is a custard scroll. So we're going to spread some of our good custard. We're going to roll it up and throw it in the oven. Sounds easy enough. Um, now this is sort of a similar technique that you use for cinnamon buns and other types of scrolls here, right? You betcha. We've got a large number of scrolls and cinnamon buns, of course, that are very popular over here. And so we've got a large number of scrolls, a berry scroll, cinnamon scroll, a custard scroll, you name it. Scrolls of all kinds. Scrollorama here, you bet. Scrollorama. Do you here have you um, Vegemite scrolls? Oh yes, the Vegemite. They're a little bit uh, different over here. We're, we're sort of introducing them. Most of our bakeries do carry them. Really? Uh, one of those things you either really like or you really don't. So uh -huh. it's, uh, and of course, being Australian, I really love Vegemite. Of so. It's an acquired taste, it I really think. It really is. Okay, I'm going to have the mic sure. up to you so I have both hands free. You betcha. So in here we have the custard, right? That's right. Okay, now I'm spreading this entire... You betcha. Throw the whole thing on there if you like and just give it a good spread there. And uh, you betcha. Just empty the bowl. Yeah, you betcha. Lots of more, more the merrier here. Perfect. I like the way you roll. Yeah, indeed. Or scroll. Bit of a sugarholic myself, so it's just fantastic. Okay, Lovely. so the idea is to get it all the way up to the edges? Yeah, exactly, except we leave a little bit of room down here so the scrolls sort of stick together, but if you want to push it all the way out to the edges, would be great. Oh, lovely you look guys at that. actually do this much quicker than I do, I think. Yeah, I guess we do. I mean, when you do it a few thousand times, you know, every morning, you get sort of, you get quick. You get efficient. Yes, you do. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, this is perfect. This is excellent. We'll go right to the edges there, and then we'll start rolling it up. I should tell you that all of our uh, all of our bread here is baked fresh every day. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no day old bread here. We're 100 percent fresh. All of the bread at the end of the day goes to local charities, uh, the food bank, uh, and. Uh, it works out to be millions of dollars every year in Australia, Canada and New Zealand that we actually give to various charities. That's excellent. Yes, indeed. Okay, and uh, Cobb's Bread has another charity that they're involved with. We're going to learn about a little bit later on. And we're going to um, introduce you to a low GI bread that's white and apparently the kids love it. The kids go crazy for it? The kids go crazy for this white wonder bread, but it's actually high fiber. Who knew that you could do that? Yeah, you can sneak the fiber into the diet. You make grilled cheese and have the tomato soup. You are so set. Sounds delicious. Now, Jill, I'm, I'm anxious to see the kind of things, because I know you and Bread, you have a very a love-hate relationship. So we're going to find some great food for you today. I hope so. <laughs> Thanks very much, Jill. We have lots to come here on our show. We're going to be talking about...